Welcome back, everyone, to the June 2018 1v1 tournament for 0k. This is your host, Dominic, remaining your host, Dominic. And we are on Lonely Oasis for the semifinals. Well, lower bracket finals. The, it's just what it is. And it's going to be FFC versus 400. Whoever loses this is eliminated. Whoever wins this moves on to the... Sorry about that. As we will be, well, having a best of three grand finals after this. Like, that's... Kind of it. So we have the let's see, FSC going for the Ampot Factory, which is no surprise there. Coley from 400, very safe and common choice. Although Ampot Ducks do win against Glaives, we are seeing Archer being built first, not Ducks though. FSC, I mean, going for kind of a more typical choice nowadays. Archers are very strong. Ever since they stopped requiring water to fire, they've been a very strong unit. So I'm not surprised we're seeing that. Ducks will one-shot Glaive, so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw them used. But at the same time, 400 going for quick reavers. Wait, are they going for... Are they going for reaver rush? Are they going for a two reaver rush? We haven't seen this since they were called warriors. This might be a two reaver rush. I don't see why you do that on this map. It's such a big map for a rush, but... Maybe. Anyway, we do have ducks, though. So that's going to be able to one-shot the Glaives. That's why I was pointing them out, because they can one-shot Glaives. They can't one-shot reavers, but... Reavers are still not that strong compared to them. So, yeah, this actually could work out relatively well for FFC. But 400 going for this early Reavers will at least mean their main base is not going to be under too much pressure, ultimately. And, wait, what did FFC just destroy? Oh, just kill a stray glaive. At any rate, that is FFC... I mean, I think a bit of an advantage matchup-wise, but I do like the fact that 400 went for the early Reavers. Because at least that means 400 will not lose the matchup outright. And now that they know that it's Amp bots, they'll probably switch over to Reaver Ronin, not really bother with Glaives. Because again, Glaives can't deal with Ducks. <clears throat> of course, at this point, 400 seems much more concerned about getting their economy going. A lot of Wind Generators up there, good for energy, that's for sure. They want to get that Overdrive going, apparently, too. Well, FFC, on the other hand, far more focused on getting as many metal extractors as possible, which I totally agree with. You get, get those metal extractors. Make sure you have them. That is, that is, of course, the most important thing. As long as you have enough energy for the metal and for whatever reclaim you might do, you don't need that much more energy than you need metal. Metal is a space based. Like, metal is based on territory, and territory is hard to get. So, FFC, I like their approach because this territory is easy to get. So you just grab it, take it. 400, however, I think they're concerned about the fact that they don't have a lot of high-speed units. They can't really easily grab these metal extractors and defend them. It's a lot easier for FFC to do that because they have more quick raider units, whereas raiders for 400 are going to die too quickly. Not to mention, this isn't defensible for 400. This is defensible for FFC. There's nothing going to come around the sides for FFC. Like this side here, this path here, totally not vulnerable. But for FFC, I mean, for 400 rather... Ducks can go in and out of this little cove, and that's fine. <laughs> they have no problems with that. So this is not easily defended. We are seeing 400 is going to build there, but they're probably going to have to set up an urchin, or, well, set up a lotus, maybe also an urchin. Could work. Wait, what? They're Why are they going for glaives? I just said glaives. Well, whatever. I mean, if you have enough glaives, that could work, but yeah, glaive versus duck, that's an odd choice. Ducks are not much more expensive than glaives, so the fact that glaives lose to ducks pretty trivially does mean that we're going to see 400 not really do well attrition-wise. FFC's got the advantage here. Like I said, that's the main reason why there's a matchup advantage for the Ampot Factory and Ampot versus Cloaky is because Glaives get shut down. That's it. That's all there is to it. Every other aspect of Cloaky versus Amp, I'd say is mildly in favor of Cloaky. The Ronin has better range and better damage than boys, or at least better damage. I think it's shorter range, but still good damage compared to boys. The Scallop doesn't really do much compared to what you can get off of anything coming out of the Cloaky Factory. It doesn't really do much to the Cloaky Factory. And no one really uses it anyway. Like The only thing is that you get, you don't get as strong a unit near the end because the Grizzly is a, is a Demi-Strider, whereas Cloakies don't really get that. And then they get the Phantom, however, that completely stuffs that. So Cloakies do have a bit of an advantage other than the fact that Glaives cannot do anything to Ducks in equal numbers. But, and Archer's the same thing. Archer's also have an easy enough time with Glaives. But then again, that's where the Reaver's coming in. Like, the Glaives are able to deal the damage far faster. Get rid of a conch. There we go. Get that conch gone. And at the same time, oh, we just need Ro Ronin. You need Ronin. Knights are an interesting choice. I don't agree with the Knights, but you need Ronin. The Archers are not going to go down to Reavers. Just a range question. 
But hey, at the same time, 400 is still expanding aggressively, so at least that's something. And, more importantly, they have enough build power that they're able to not excess, whereas... Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. FFC should also have enough build power to not excess. What is going on here? Oh, I see. There's a lot of construction going around the map, whereas FFC is not... Not enough energy. FFC's e-stalling. That's what's going on. So yeah, 400 actually took really good advantage of these early wind generators. I wasn't sure about them at first, but I did say, you know, make sure to build power for what you have for metal and what you're likely to reclaim. 400's good. 400 has enough energy. They're, they don't need to worry about what they expand to. They're just going to turn that expansion into more units. They just need more build power in the main base. That's it. That's all they need. If they have that, they're good. If they don't have that, they're kind of screwed. Uh, also, Wes pointing out, Wesley in chat pointing out that, yeah, Archer is the key reason, is a key reason why Anthbot does well, but Rogues, sorry, Ronin do win against that. Rogues as well for doing Shieldbot, but I'd say Shieldbot has the advantage overall compared to Anthbot. But yeah, Archers, I mean, they might, well, the, the Knights will stop them enough. Like, once the Knights get close enough, or if there's enough distractions, they will stun out the Archers, but I really want to see the Ronin actually come into play. We have a few of them, and they are going to be able to do a pretty good job. It's just that they're not really in position yet. Oh, never mind. That Reaver actually got a bit lucky. The Archer didn't get far enough away, didn't kite while it was being attacked. So, hey, there we go. There's a slight opportunity there. It's not much of an opportunity, but it's something. Or at the very least, giving 400 the room, because now they have more of an economy. They don't have as much in the way of actual build power, and that's a problem. They are about to excess. Where? Why are you not using this conjure to build more caretakers, 400? Okay, you're now using this Conjurer. You're now using it to build more Caretakers. A little bit close to the wire, but at least it's something. Now this one, though, FSC does have a production advantage and is probably going to have a bit of an attrition advantage as well. These Knights, again, I don't agree with. I totally think that would have been better off with Ronin, but at least the Knights get a bit of a distraction, maybe. But again, they're just slow and going uphill. That's not going to work. They're slow and going uphill. Get rid of the Archers who are fast and on top of said hill. So yeah, the Archers, again, I mean, it's not bad, but yeah, that's that's kind of an obvious thing. Or, however, I think I'm throwing in that the north side is under threat. Like, FFC might lose the north side, even with the archers there. I don't think it's going to be enough. South side, however, I really don't agree with the knights, and this is why. And we see 400 is also agreeing. They're going for that archer, for that ro the Ronin setup. And now they have the caretakers to actually set that up very quickly. So they should be able to get all 300 Ronin within the next half hour or so, I'd say. I'm not joking, actually. That would be enough time. It only take like two seconds to build each. Yeah, that'd be well, ten minutes, actually. Yeah, if we if this game lasts ten minutes, we will have three hundred Ronin built, and four hundred doesn't lose their economy in the meantime. That's also important. But yeah, it's gonna be just a stream of Ronin coming out from Ronin's base, which is really all they can do, and it's a good option, but it is kind of all they can do to actually get damage. And the glaives are necessary against the boys. So we might see Glaze built there as well. And 400 also going for the Air Factories. Okay, it's not going to be quite as fast as I thought. The Air Factory does change the calculus a little bit, but still, we've got a lot of Ronin. we got like 23 Ronin. That's a fairly large number of units of any type in 0k. So, yeah, I'm not, not going to complain. Actually, it's a nice flames coming in here too, as 400 is taking the southeast side of the map, allowing them to get in the center from the south side, from both sides really, flank it completely, while also setting up a fire base that allows their Ronin to amass along the south side where they're much more needed like the north side they it's defended well enough nothing's really attacking there that's not where fc is focusing their forces the south side however that's where the 400 needs to make sure that they're safe and they got the ronin to do it at least to an extent and chat is hinting at me that well in-game chat is hinting that there is a limpet around here but i don't see any no it must have been just a suggestion not actually been built oh interesting switching over to slings instead of ronin and then into a bunch of glaives that's that's an anti-stinger choice. That's to get rid of this. It's the entire point of that because the hammers do, or say the slings do have the range. So, yeah. Get rid of the center, break that up. That'll allow 400 to connect their entire defensive line, allowing them to continue to push in. And then that should allow them to actually set up possible flanks, come to think of it. They could flank in this north side, possibly flank the southern army. I mean, it'd be a bit harder, but still, they could do that. On top of the fact that they do have all these ravens being built up. So yeah, right now, 400 is actually in a pretty good spot as far as their overall economy and production go. Their attrition is not so great, and we do have the grizzlies up now. But that's what the that's what the, the ravens are for. Get the ravens up, get rid of the grizzlies. You do need about 
11 of them to get rid of a grizzly. But they're being built reasonably quickly. I mean, most of the build power is going to the ravens. So, yeah, 50 metal per second on ravens. That's 6 seconds per raven. It's not going to take long to get the necessary number of ravens to kill off a grizzly. They already have 8. 3 more, and that's a grizzly death. Oh, they just need to get rid of this stinger. Yeah, clearly off radar. The radar wobble is killing them a bit. Let's get those... Possibly sacrifice the Ronin to get clear shots on the Stingers. Oh, nice play there. Archer in the back is not going to be enough to save the base, but that's, that's still clever. I like that. Sign of the Archer in the little pool just to make it a little bit harder to get in, but it's not going to be enough. And the Northwest taken out by the Ravens. Some clues, I mean, at this point, FFC knows they got to deal with air and anti air, but they don't even want to. That is going to be it. 400 taking the round. Very clever use of their units. Like, good use of their economy, good use of Ronin. Like, they knew that Ronin are the thing you have to do to get through this. And, and they fact switch did take it, but honestly, the Ronin sling setup was going to be enough to break the center. And 400 was, or FSC was fo so focused on the south side that, yeah, 400 had a hard time getting in, which means 400 is up against RAR in the grand finals. Best of three grand finals. That will be, that'll be going. And I know Twitch chat is saying that there, it's memeing. It's not memeing. That was actually really legit. Like, that was a good choice. As far as strategy goes, just against Ampot Factory, yeah, Mass Ronin is, I, it's a proper option. It gets rid of the archers, it gets rid of the ducks. The boys are a bit of a problem, so glaives are useful there. And then Grizzlies, it gets rid of those. So yeah, Ronin are a great idea. Against, like, that's how Clogie wins against Ampot, is Mass Ronin. And also some ticks, if you can. Anyway, that is... That so we're gonna move on to the grand finals. That'll be up in a couple of minutes. So getting that set up. First map will be Wanderlust. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll be back in a couple minutes. <laughs> 